Zoning Board of Appeals is a um, an, an interesting board, and it's it's kind of a different kind of board than the other uh, local commissions. Um, if you look at the state enabling legislation here, uh, which is Connecticut General Statutes, Title Eight, Chapter One Twenty Four, Section Eight Five, um, within that section, you notice this is different than some of the other enabling legislation, and that. Here, the, the municipality, if you have created a zoning commission, you have to have a zoning board of appeals. So this is the first time you really see the, the word shall <laughs> in, in these enabling regulations. For the most part, they're may. You may create a, a planning commission. You may create a zoning, a zoning commission. But if you, this, what this is saying is, if you've created a zoning commission, you have to have a zoning board of appeals. And mainly the reason is because if what, what it says here on the slide is, you, a zoning board of appeals is something of a escape valve for some of the rigidity that can come in from the strict application of zoning. And uh, so it does allow a little bit of wiggle room for, for landowners uh, who might have some special conditions that quite honestly exist. Um, and so it allows sort of a little bit of wiggle room here. So it really is a different board because it's really a, you know, most boards are either and or uh, either legislative and or administrative. Um, this is sort of the first one that has sort of this quasi judicial function, and they and we'll talk about we'll we'll look at how that happens in a little bit. You really are sort of making judgments on how things get applied. The law gets applied in some ways here. Um, as I said before, it, it it allows some flexibility, and it's oftentimes the first step um, in the appeal process. Uh, for a lot of zoning uh, issues that come up, um, conflicts between um, the t the town and the applicant. So, according to st uh, state statute, some of the key powers and duties that a zoning board of appeals has is number one, they hear and decide appeals from decisions that are made by the zoning enforcement officer. Um, so, there are a lot of a lot of parts of the uh, of the zoning regs are designated to the ZEO to to make decisions on. And um, so if an applicant feels the ZEO made an incorrect decision, he would bring that uh, to the uh, Zoning Board of Appeals. They also grant variances. This is a big part of what they do uh, from the strict application of zoning regulations. And they also, the Zoning Board of Appeals also hear and decide any matters uh, that um, the zoning regulations spe specify them to consider. Um, don't really talk too much about this. But zoning regulations can, for example, designate the Zoning Board of Appeals to hear all special exception reviews. Um, there are other places where the zoning bo board, the, um, the zoning commissions can designate their powers to a Zoning Board of Appeals to make those, those decisions. And that's going to differ from town to town. So let's take a look at a few of these. The first big power that a ZBA, or Zoning Board of Appeals, has is to hear appeals based on decisions of the ZEO. Um, so the ZEO is staff, um, so they are they sort of help commissions um, do their sort of normal administrative functions. So if a ZEO reviews uh, an application, um, so it might be a site plan or other things that, that might come before it, and they're looking at the zoning regulations, they're looking at how is this is this application in conformance with our zoning regulations? If they find that it is not in compliance with the regulations, they have to, the ZEO has to deny it. They must deny it. There isn't really a lot of wiggle room there. You are just applying the regulations to the, to the applicant. So if, the, if there's a denial, the applicant then has a couple um, avenues they can go next. One is they could say, well, I know we might want to just go back, go to the zoning commission, and and get the zone changed so that it'll accept this change, this this our our intended use here. So that might be one is a petition for a, a zone change that requires public hearings and all this stuff. Um, second thing they could do is they could apply to the ZBA, the Zoning Board of Appeals, for a variance, and we'll talk about more of that in a second. So in other words, a loosening of the strict application of the zone zoning regulations. The third thing they could do is they could contest the decision the ZEO made to the Zoning Board of Appeals. They felt that the uh, judgment of the ZEO was faulty and that 
they really are in, in, in compliance with the regulations, they really feel that the ZEO made an incorrect ruling on that, then they can bring it to ZBA. Um, so once they do that, what your job as a Zoning Board of Appeals Commissioner is, is did was did the ZEO apply this correctly? And and you can the ZBA may then reverse or affirm, either in part or entirely, so wholly, uh, the decision of the zoning enforcement officer of the town staff. Um, so this is really a judicial function: is did they do it right or didn't they? And and uh, and so you can say, well, you know, mostly they did on this small question. Maybe they did it wrong. That we feel that we, we differ with the ZEO, and you can do that. Or you could say. They did it cor totally correctly. We, we concur with, with the decision of the ZEO. So that is a key function of a Zoning Board of Appeals, is sort of that judicial function. Part of the, probably the, 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 the element that probably the, Z, the Zoning Board of Appeals is most known for is this idea of variances. And um, a variance is, as we've been talking about, it's really a relaxation of the strict application of the zoning requirements. There's two basic types of variances. There's area variances. So in other words, a relaxation in the area requirements of the zoning regulations. So, you know, if you have a 0.9 acre lot and it's a one acre zone, um, you might go to the Zoning Board of Appeals to see if you could get a variance for that. Um, if you aren't able to make setbacks or frontage requirements, you might ask for a variance on that. Another type of um, a variance is the use variance, and this just is actually going in and um, and and asking for a use that might not be um, allowed within the zoning regulations to be allowed within, um, and so ask, asking for a variance from the use requirements. Use generally, by and large. The vast majority of variances are area variances. More rarely are use variances, but there are these two types. But by and large, I would say as a ZBA um, person, you, you'd be dealing mostly with area variances. Um, you, in order to get a variance, you must uh, demonstrate, the, and what I'm saying, not the Zoning Board of Appeals, the applicant must demonstrate a hardship based on the physical configuration of the lot. So this isn't necessarily tied, this isn't about a personality thing. This really is looking at, is this is there something about the physical configuration of the lot that makes it impossible for the applicant to follow the zoning regulations as written? And if so, then a variance should be applied. Um, if not, if the if that lot is the same as any other lot within that zone, then there is then a variance should not be granted. If it's just more convenient for them to do it a different way, or or it might be cheaper for them to do it a different way, these these are not considered necessarily um, hardships based on the physical configuration of the lot. So, generally, that is what a variance should be for. So it's a very it allows that escape valve because you know obviously landscapes are different. In New England in particular, there's each lot can be very different. You might have be impossible for you to actually put your garage or whatever in the exact spot and meet all the setbacks. And you might need that, uh, you know, two feet, three feet or so here or there to be able to make it in. And so that allows that, that sort of flexibility. But um, this isn't um, a, a variance shouldn't be granted because just because you know this guy is this person is a good guy and you know he would try to do it right or this might be easier for him to do um, that's not a not a good reason for granting a variance so this is a tricky 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 thing and I I think um, this is oftentimes these the variances are not necessarily applied correctly um, in, in towns now these are some of the key requirements in granting a variance and this gets to sort of what we were talking about Number one, uh, in order to, to grant the variance, it should be in harmony with the basic purpose and intent of the zoning regulations. Um, so it needs to make sure you're not going way out you know, in, in left field from what the purpose of that zoning regulation was trying to accomplish. Um, it shouldn't, the, the granting of that variance shouldn't impinge on anybody's uh, 
health, safety, and welfare, and convenience and property values. Um, and the key point here is that a variance runs with the land and not the owner. And this is, gets back to sort of, you know, don't grant a variance just because it's a night, the applicant's a nice person. Um, the applicant could sell the land to a not such a nice person and they still get that variance. Um, the variance, once it's granted, runs with that piece of land. So it, it, it goes in perpetuity for, with the land. Um, so in the parcel, as we said, um, must have a unique, uh, have a condition that makes it unique. And uh, so, so that, that's sort of the key things you need to have in your checklist when you're looking at, at, a, at a variance, either whether it's an area variance or use variance is, you know, is it in harmony with what the zoning regulations want? Does it not impinge the health, safety, and welfare of the public? Is it, you know, is this something we can live with um, that with the land beyond who owns it? Does, you know, it's disregarding the owner and is that, is there something unique going on in that piece of property?